Hi guys, welcome back to Wedding Advice by Pink Book. I'm Melindy. And I'm Natalie. Today we are talking to attorneys Hopkins and Snayman about getting married at home affairs and the legalities about getting married in South Africa. This is a very important video and if you want to go read some more, please go to the website. We have a very nice extensive blog about everything as well. Enjoy the video. Getting married at Home Affairs is easy and free of charge. One of you will have to go to Home Affairs with copies of both of your IDs to schedule an appointment. At the date of the scheduled appointment, the couple as well as two witnesses will have to be present. In a private room, you will meet the marriage officer who will explain the legalities to you. The marriage officer will then conduct the ceremony and declare you married. You will then sign the marriage register and immediately get issued with your marriage certificate. Getting an anti-nuptial contract is extremely important. At Hopkins and Snayman Attorneys, we believe this is the case for three primary reasons. Firstly, getting an anti-nuptial contract allows you to get married out of community or property. This means that each individual to the marriage will retain his or her respective estate, including the assets and liabilities that form part of that estate. Secondly, Getting an anti-nuptial contract will mean that you will retain your full contractual capacity, which will allow you to conclude contracts without the consent of your spouse. Lastly, getting an anti-nuptial contract will allow you to choose whether you want to include the accrual system. By including the accrual system, you can put in place a mechanism to ensure that the growth of your estates is shared equally and in a fair manner. When you come to see us or your attorney, to sign your anti-nuptial contract, it is important that you bring along proof of your identity, so your ID or passport, and for FICA purposes, you must also bring along proof of your address. The Marriage Act and Civil Union Act makes no distinction between foreigners and South Africans getting married, as long as all the formalities are met. What is important to remember is that the legal consequences of the marriage are determined by the country of domicile of the husband. This is the country that the husband considers to be his home. It is therefore very important that the parties seek legal advice in the husband's country of domicile regarding whether it is necessary to conclude an anti-nuptial contract. Historically, it was a requirement for couples to get married under a roof, but our law has become more relaxed on this point. The law still states that a marriage ceremony should take place in either a religious building, a public office or a private dwelling, but no specific mention is made of a roof. When it comes to family names, a bride can choose to keep her maiden name, assume her husband's surname, or join her surname to that of her husband's, thereby creating a double barrel surname. To obtain a copy of your marriage certificate, you can apply at the nearest office of the Department of Home Affairs or, if living abroad, at the nearest South African Embassy or Consulate. The first issue of your marriage certificate is free and any further copies will be issued at a nominal charge. If you'd like to find out whether your marriage has been registered, you can either visit the nearest office of Department of Home Affairs and make inquiries or simply SMS the letter M followed by your ID number to 23551. Thank you so much for watching guys. Remember to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell and Happy planning! planning.